Most people have no idea what just happened out there in the darkness. But inside NASA, inside Harvard's observational labs, inside the command rooms of radio observatories across the world, something extraordinary is unfolding. Something so unexpected, so mathematically impossible, that even veteran scientists who have spent their entire lives studying cosmic anomalies are now whispering the same word. Pulse. Not a flare. Not a reflection. Not a glitch. A pulse. Powerful coherent, directional, coming from 3 i slash ATLAS. The moment the first detection hit the screen, everything changed. Before we drift deeper into this mystery, take a moment with me. If this kind of discovery sparks that feeling of wonder you once felt watching the moon landing or the first shuttle launch, please tap the like button, subscribe, and tell me your country in the comments. I love knowing where in the world people are tuning in from when history unfolds in real time. Because tonight, uh, what you're about to hear may change the way we think about interstellar visitors forever. Let's start at the beginning. At precisely 2.41 a.m. Eastern Time, NASA's Deep Space Network received a spike, a sharp, clean burst of electromagnetic energy. It lasted only a fraction of a second, so brief that most systems would have dismissed it as noise. But three different stations captured it simultaneously, Goldstone, Canberra, and Madrid. That alone is impossible to ignore. For a signal to appear at all three stations at the exact predicted time, from the exact same coordinates, with the exact same waveform, it must be real. But what makes this pulse different is its shape. Natural signals scatter. They wobble. They stretch out into a messy smear of frequencies because nature rarely draws straight lines. This one was clean. I looked at the waveform myself, and it struck a strange chord in me, something that reminded me of an experiment I once witnessed in graduate school. A superconducting cavity resonating at near-perfect efficiency, producing a tone that felt unnatural in its purity. I remember the professor whispering, when a system reaches coherence, pay attention. Something unusual is happening. That memory came back instantly because the pulse from 3 I slash A T L A S was coherent. And coherence in space is rare, very rare, unless something is organizing the energy. But here is the part that has scientists genuinely alarmed. The frequency of the pulse corresponds to an energy range far higher than anything we predicted could emerge naturally from an object like 3 I slash A T L A S. It sits well above the thermal radiation expected from ice, rock, or even metallic minerals. It occupies a frequency band normally associated with highly energetic astrophysical processes, the kind we see around collapsed stars, magnetars, or intense gravitational fields. So why would an object the size of a city block, drifting through our solar system, mimic the signature of something far more powerful? Let's walk through what the observatories recorded. For months, 3i slash ATLAS behaved like an odd but harmless visitor. Irregular brightness, strange tumbling, a few anomalous reflections. Then something shifted. In the days leading up to the pulse, its surface temperature changed subtly. Not enough for the public to notice, but enough for researchers to raise their eyebrows. A warming in one hemisphere, a cooling in the other, as if heat were moving through it like a wave. No natural comet behaves like that. Then suddenly the energy pulsed. The waveform did not resemble a flare. It wasn't thermal noise. It wasn't solar interference. It was structured. Layers of frequencies stacked like a chord. Think of how a violin string vibrates. Not just one note, but several harmonics riding on top of each other. This pulse had that quality, a complexity that suggests the presence of an organized internal process. Even more troubling, the signal emerged precisely at the moment 3i slash ATLAS crossed a region of space where the solar wind density sharply increased. It's almost as if it reacted. Reacted. That word is being whispered reluctantly in scientific circles. Because if 3i slash ATLAS is reacting to environmental changes, altering itself, stabilizing itself, or responding in some way, then it is no longer behaving like an inert object. It is behaving like a system. Let's take a deeper look. Right after the pulse, NASA's orbit analysis team discovered a subtle but undeniable shift in its motion. Not enough to be dramatic, 
but enough to prove something inside the object redistributed mass. That means the pulse may not have been energy leaving the object, but energy moving through it. And that raises an astonishing possibility. What if 3i slash ATLAS has an interior structure? Just imagine that. For decades, we assumed interstellar visitors were chunks of ice or rock, debris flung from distant stars, drifting helplessly through the void. But now, with Oumuamua and 3i slash ATLAS, we're facing a new kind of object, one that does things nature shouldn't allow. I spent years studying the mathematics of exotic materials, superconductors, quantum fields, strange matter analogs, and one idea from those early years returned to me, that if a material could maintain coherence under extreme conditions, it might produce energy pulses that behave exactly like the one we just detected. Could 3i slash ATLAS be made of something exotic, something we've never seen, something that can store, channel, or release energy? There is another clue. And this one may be even more alarming. Four minutes after the pulse, Earth's magnetometers recorded a small but measurable disturbance. Not a danger to the public, not a massive geomagnetic storm, but a ripple, a tremor, a whisper in the planet's magnetic field. Only two events usually cause disturbances like that, solar activity or something emitting high energy particles nearby. But at that moment, the sun was quiet, and the ripple came from the direction of 3i slash ATLAS. Scientists are scrambling to explain how such a small object could generate a magnetic disturbance detectable on Earth. But the truth is simple. We don't know. We have no model for this, no equations, no precedent. This is where the conversation takes a turn that some scientists are afraid to voice publicly. If a pulse like this were emitted intentionally as stabilization, communication, or internal restructuring, it might not be a threat. But if it was unintentional, a malfunction, a buildup of tension inside the object, a failure of whatever is holding it together, then we may be watching something far more dangerous, something failing, a containment system, a structural layer, an internal mechanism destabilizing. I want to be clear. We are not claiming 3 I slash ATLAS is artificial, but we also cannot pretend it is behaving like anything natural. And this is where senior viewers, the generation that watched Apollo rise, fall, and rise again, can appreciate the historical weight of this moment. You have lived long enough to see the world rewrite its understanding of space again and again. This may be another one of those turning points. Let's examine the pulse again. Its harmonics form a perfect 5 to 2 ratio. That ratio appears in physics, but rarely in natural bursts of energy. It shows up in resonance cavities, in engineered systems, in structures trying to maintain stability. Imagine a bell that rings too loudly. Imagine the shock wave traveling through it. Imagine the bell releasing a pulse of energy to avoid cracking. That is one theory, that 3i slash ATLAS released the pulse to prevent internal collapse. If that is true, then something is happening inside it that we don't yet understand. There is another possibility. Some researchers think the pulse was a scan, an outward probing wave that interacted with the solar environment. If so, the pulse might return, it might be periodic, it might carry information. This idea terrifies some scientists, because if the pulse repeats if it contains structure, if it evolves over time, then we are not observing a natural object. We are observing a device. Let's step back from the edge for a moment. I remember interviewing an astronaut years ago, one who had seen auroras from above the Earth, sheets of green and violet light pouring across the atmosphere like a living curtain. He said, from space you realize the universe is alive with things we still don't have words for. That's what this feels like. We don't have words yet. Maybe it's geological, maybe it's quantum, maybe it's a material under stresses we don't understand. But the pulse, the timing, the coherence, the magnetic ripple, these things don't line up with nature as we know it. This is why scientists, brilliant seasoned individuals with decades of experience, are suddenly working around the clock. Because if this pulse was the first warning sign of a larger event, the next weeks may bring even more dramatic changes. 
3i slash ATLAS is still inbound. It has not yet passed perihelion. If its energy output grows, the consequences could be profound. Here is what we expect next. More pulses, surface changes, trajectory alterations, thermal anomalies, magnetic disturbances, unexpected interactions with the solar wind, or perhaps nothing. Perhaps this was a one-time event. But we cannot ignore what happened, and neither should you. Most people have no idea this occurred. They won't read the scientific logs. They won't see the frantic emails. They won't hear the arguments happening behind closed doors, but you do. And if this discovery shook you the way it shook the scientific world, if you felt that spark of cosmic curiosity that so many of us grew up with, then don't stop here. On your left, a video is appearing. Click it. It continues this unfolding mystery in a direction even I wasn't ready for because 3i slash ATLAS just changed the story and the next chapter may be even stranger.